Well, here at 60 kilograms, 132 pounds. We see the wrestle off right now between the wrestlers trying for the Olympic spot. Sean Bunch and Coleman Scott, the final two that survived to get the trip to London. But here, Ahmed Chikayev for Russia, and he'll face a guy that isn't going to London, but boy, he's a strong threat in four years to go to Rio. And that's Logan Steber, the phenom from Ohio. What a spring of 2012 this young man has had. Yeah. As a redshirt freshman storming to the NCAA title for Ohio State at 133 pounds and then stunning a lot of people making it to the final of the Olympic trials in Iowa City where he lost to Coleman Scott. But he set notice that he is a force to be reckoned with on the international scene for years to come. Yeah, I think Steber has proved that he is one of the great young talents in the United States. Got a good arsenal of offense, and that's really what the coaches are looking for. You need solid defense, but you need to put points on the board. And the officials just making sure that everything is set up. Clock's right. And now they'll switch sides and we'll begin. Steber in the blue. Chikayev, 22-year-old, in the red for Russia. And as you talked about, Steber seems a very offensive-minded wrestler. No, he likes offense. He likes to put points up on the board. He's very aggressive. What you'll see the Russians tend to do, they got that bent-over stance, and they almost come at you a little soft. And it's not that they are being soft, it's they're setting you up. Good, Steber's ducking under the leg. He keeps this head up position, he has advantage, but he loses the leg and the Russian scores. Shakayev with a nice counter move to get the first point in the opening period. Yeah, Shakayev did a great job of hanging on. Steber just lost the ankle. If he was able to maintain control of the ankle, keeping his head high like that, he had the advantage position. Talk about a young man that's stormed onto the scene. Certainly, he was highly recruited at Ohio State, four-time state champion in Wrestling Mad Ohio. And second place in your first appearance at the Olympic trials, nothing to sneeze at. But he said, hey, I was disappointed. I thought I could earn that bid to London. And he came close to at least having a shot in this wrestle-off being held today. But Another chance for him to gain international experience here. Oh, that was a tough position to break. The Russian felt he was in a scoring position. But referee called, blew the whistle, and so back on the feet they come. And you can see how dangerous it is if you change level and go under your opponent and don't keep your head up. If you stay on your knees, you become vulnerable with your head down. Can Steber respond here at the end of this first period? Under 15 seconds left. Steber trying to finish. Well, they'll trade points. Let's see how it comes out here. Looks like they've got one and one. One and one, so Chikayev is going to maintain his lead. It is 2-1 for Chikayev. Five seconds on the clock. All right, there comes the blue brick. They are going to go to video review on this. The question will be whether or not Steber got a tilt on Chikayev during that exchange. That is what Zeke Jones is looking for. He felt Steber deserved two on an exposure tilt. I think there was some thought on the initial call that it may have been two on that call, but on the board right now, it's one apiece in that sequence and a 2-1 lead for Chikaya. The final thing is going to go 1-1. It's going to work against Steber. It's going to go against Steber, and he's going to lose a point on the penalty as well. Should be three. Yep, and now we signify the penalty point. 
So it is 3-1 with the challenge being denied. It costs the team the challenges a point if the challenge is unsuccessful. Zeke Jones, it's an exhibition so he can smile a little bit. If this was a heavy competition, it, there might not be that smile. Yeah, these were the officials, but you have that jury in the background of the final three that can override everything, and that's what they did in that instance. But it just goes to show you, people look at the same thing and interpret it a little bit differently. And Steber needs to chase, but out of time. Well, end of the period. Flurry of action there. Logan Steber able to score late, but not enough. Ahmed Kachayev able to take the one period and none lead in the best of three. Wrestlers back on the mat here, 60 kilograms, 132 pounds. And underway again, Chikayev in red, Steber in blue. And you'll generally see the U.S. athletes be a little bit more mobile and active, but what the Russians are great at is getting in one position and then exploding out of it. There it again, Chikayev going to the side, looking for tilt points. Steber working the legs well right now, earns one. Let's see if he can work at the two. There's a 1-1 for a exposure. Able to knock up a couple more points. 3-0 lead for Logan Steber. Keeps that, oh, he was working on that arm, trying to trap it in a gut wrench, but they stop it, potentially dangerous. And with a 3 nothing lead now, you could see Steber play a little bit of cat and mouse. He'll force Chikayev to become more aggressive. Oh, my bad, Steber went right after him, dropped into the double. And that's what happens when you play defense and get the other man to be a little too aggressive, you can score and you saw it right there. A point period machine. And that sequence for Logan Steeper. No letting off the gas, attacking an impressive 6 0 win as he earns uh, the technical fall in that period. Yeah, you see uh, national coach Steve Jones with the warm up on, Lou Rosselli, the assistant coach in Ohio State, in the white shirt, giving Steeper some advice. And it all seems that whoever gets the lead seems to win the match because they can dictate the pace and the timing of the match. And again, it's a period of peace, difference between international wrestling and what you might see at the college or high school level. Those points don't really Accumulate. matter now for yep. Chikayev. It matters that the period win and all that counts. A lot like match play in golf, what matters score-wise in the previous instance doesn't carry over. He turned the corner nice, got that leg scooped. If he could suck the ankle in, which he does, Steber on the board again. He seems to have figured out Chikayev's attempt at tilt, and he doesn't feel so threatened by him. Now he's able to get the corner. Another ankle lace attempt, but unable to score. One nothing here, 45 seconds into the third period for Logan Steber. former world junior medalist. He's faced foreign opponents before, but unique setting in wrestling USA versus Russia. A little added significance here in Times Square for the young man from Ohio. See Chikayev set up outside of him. He's almost trying to draw Steber towards him. See it, he almost wants Steber to step in. Steber will have none of it. He delays a little bit, backs out. Needs to hang on to that leg. Now he wants to duck that leg, keeps getting his head up underneath it. Otherwise, you get tilted like that. Wow, sweet counter from Chikayev. Able to get two and take the lead. On the edge, Steber able to score before they go out of bounds. That was nifty. Rolling the ankles, forcing Chikayev across his back. So they trade twos, 3-2 advantage for Logan Steber.
He denies the challenge. Maybe trying to delay to give Chikayev a little moment to collect himself. This but is back where he's got to lift himself up. He doesn't do it. He kept his head down, and Chikayev made him pay. Gets two points in the final 10 seconds. Steamer. And he gets one back himself. Able to counter at the buzzer. Question is, is it one or two? Oh, that'll be a two point. It is two. That should be a two point tilt. He was down on the mat, elbows touched. Logan Steber, wow. What a dramatic flurry at the finish in Logan Steber. Two for the tilt and the win for the United States. He invented points from the defensive position. He never quit, he kept attacking, and he winds up with a big victory for the U.S. One of the future stars, possibly, of American wrestling, Logan Steber, with a great display.